And, you know, one of the things I try to talk about when I is around this concept of virginity, right? This, this human construct of labeling a female body specifically as one thing. And, you know, at one point that is actually changed, right? That's the way it's talked about. And there are people who still talk about it that way. Um, I, I think today, just to be clear, I think today people talk about it two different ways. They talk about, I am a virgin, as in I haven't done that yet. But then they also talk about losing one's virginity. And that's the piece that is very biblical to me, right? That's the piece that the Bible t- talks about uh, this state that can be lost or changed or whatever. And that is fully human construct as an element of controlling women's bodies. I mean, there's you know, and the more you look into this, or at least the more I think about it over the years and look into the, you know, the physiology behind it, right? Like this concept that a woman needs to show proof of the evidence of her virginity on her, the night that she is taken, mm. right? And the man sleeps with her, right? Well, what's the evidence? We all know, right? The, or the, we know, right? The evidence is that she bled. Like, okay, let's talk about that, right? The evidence of a woman's air quotes, virginity, is the fact that her hymen just wasn't prepared. That's it, right? There's no, you know, this is a violation. This is a form of small form of violence being done to a woman's body that doesn't need to happen. But that's all of these ideas around claiming territory, being the first on the scene. I I did. I, I thought about like people that talk about, oh, that... The virgin mountainside with no ski, you know, nobody's skied on it yet. And I want to be the first to ski on it. Like, that's what we're talking about, but with a woman's body. And and I, in the book, I, you know, I decided to get really raw about it all just to kind of make the point, right? We're talking about a particular part of a woman's body, whether or not a man has interacted with it, right? We're talking about her vagina, but the reason we care is both men's egos, right, in terms of... And wouldn't want to be with, gosh, I, it's really hard to talk about some of this sometimes. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, oh, somebody else has had sex with her. I don't, she's tainted goods. Do you realize what you're saying when you say that she's tainted goods, by the way? You're just saying that she's been penetrated by a man's penis. Like, this is about men's penises over and over again. <laughs> Biblically speaking, it drives me crazy. 